Hi there, welcome to this Prospect CRM video on how to set up your opportunity pipelines. Whether you're managing a new business sale or a repeat business deal with a long-term customer, opportunities in Prospect CRM help your whole team keep track of its progress. By setting up opportunity pipelines, customer-facing teams can manage every sale in an efficient and logical manner. This is not only ensuring everyone follows a predefined process during a sale, but it enables you to identify why some sales fall through the net, and at what stage, as well as where you had successes, in turn helping you to refine and improve your processes going forward. Please note you will need CRM administrator rights in order to follow the steps in this video. It's also useful to have identified your sales model first, before watching this video using our Identifying Your Sales Model Guide. There are two components to setting up an opportunity pipeline. We have the opportunity statuses and the opportunity pipeline. Opportunity statuses represent the key stages that happen or could happen when managing an opportunity. For example, your first status may be inquiry and the next could be meeting booked, then finally having sold or lost as your closing statuses within an opportunity pipeline. Opportunity statuses need to be set up first before we then slot these into a pipeline. Opportunity pipelines are essentially funnels or journeys which should depict your sales opportunity process. When you set these up, you can choose the order in which your statuses appear for each pipeline so that your teams take the right actions in the right order. Please note that lots of our prospect CRM customers actually have more than one opportunity pipeline set up, especially if they have different types of sales processes which require a different approach. So it's important to think about the types of statuses you want and the type of pipelines you'll need. First, let's configure our opportunity statuses. To start off, click on the settings icon in the bottom left hand corner here. And once within the settings center, navigate to the sales page and scroll down until you reach the opportunity status configure option. So here it is. So by clicking the click to configure link, the configure opportunity status window will open, giving you a full list of all of your current opportunity statuses set up. To add in a new opportunity status, click on the plus button in the top right hand corner. You'll then be asked to give the new opportunity status a description. Make sure this is as relevant as possible for all CRM users, and that is a good description of what this data should be used for. So for example, this might be inquiry. Once you're happy with your description, click create. Now that we have created one of your opportunity statuses, you'll need to choose some additional preferences for this status by clicking the pencil icon next to the newly added status just here. A side panel will then appear and within here you'll have a load of different options you can configure. The first one is the recall required option. So in the CRM you can ensure users take ownership of a record by setting them a recall in a particular status in the pipeline. So you can choose whether a recall is optional with a pop-up window, whether it's required with a pop-up window, whether it's disabled so nobody can set a recall when this opportunity is in this stage, or you can do optional no pop-up. So depending on what works for you within your process, you can choose the right one. We then have the closed status. So if this status is going to be closed, such as sold or lost, then you need to make sure that the closed state is selected. For this one, this is an open status, so I'm going to keep it as a closed state of open. We then have the status outcome. For reporting purposes, you can choose whether the status is a positive, neutral or negative outcome. For example, a status of lost may be a negative outcome, whereas a status of one might be positive. For this one, because it's just an inquiry, we're not too sure yet whether it is going to be negative or positive, we'd keep that as neutral for now. We also have this allow editing option. So you can choose whether the opportunity wants in this particular status, it can be edited uh, or it's read only, or only admin users can edit this. We've also got obsolete. So if you no longer needed a status because maybe it's an old one, you can choose to mark this as obsolete, which will mean users will no longer be able to choose the status from the dropdown. But as this is a brand new status, I'm obviously gonna keep that as in use. 
Finally, we then have the status detail section. So a status detail can be helpful when further clarif clarifying the current status. For example, a status of loss doesn't really explain why this opportunity fell through. So you may have a status detail option, including lost a competitor or maybe lost due to price. To add in a status detail, simply click on the plus button and then give the status detail a description. We're going to leave us as it is though for now. Once happy with all of your amendments, just click away from the side panel and then all of your changes will be saved automatically. You'll need to follow this process to create every single status that you would like to include within your pipeline. So now that you've added your opportunity statuses, the next stage is to set up the opportunity pipeline. To do so, let's go back to our setting center and scroll up to find the opportunity pipelines. By clicking the click to configure link, you'll then be taken through to the configure opportunity pipeline window where all of your current opportunity pipelines will be listed. To add a new opportunity pipeline, click on the plus icon in the top right hand corner and you'll then be asked to give the opportunity pipeline a description. Make sure again this is relevant to the sales opportunity that the pipeline will be used for, such as retailer sales process. You can also select an objective, so whether it's custom acquisition, other, respend, or upsell. So for this one, we might say customer acquisition. Once you're happy with your choices, just click create and then your new opportunity pipeline will be added. We do have some further options that we need to do now with the pipeline, such as adding in the required statuses for this pipeline. To do so, click on the pencil icon for your newly added in pipeline. This will then open up a side panel. So to add in your required statuses, click on the plus icon within the status section. This will then give you a list of all of your current open uh, opportunity statuses that you have set up. Here you can then just tick the ones that you wish to add to the opportunity pipeline, such as maybe uh, meeting booked, inquiry, uh, maybe uh, quote as well. So once we're happy with our selection, if you then click update in the bottom right hand corner, this will then add in those three statuses that we have selected. Once your statuses have been added, you can then drag and drop the statuses into the desired sequence. The status at the top of the list will be the first to appear in the pipeline. So for example, we might have inquiry first, then we might have meeting booked as the second one. Finally, you'll need to add in your closing statuses. You can do that by clicking on the plus button within the closing statuses section. And again, that will then give you a list of all of your statuses that you have set up that are closing ones. So for example, we have lost and won. Once you're happy with your selection, if you then click update, again, those will then be added to the closing statuses section for us. Once you're happy with your selection, you can then just click out and that will be automatically saved. You're all set. You've now created your opportunity statuses and added these into a new opportunity pipeline. Customer facing teams can now start to use these when managing a sales opportunity.